Hey guys, this is us up at the main shop in San Miguel de Allende and you'll hear the bells ringing from the parochia. And as you can see it's reasonably busy and it's Friday night so I'm sure it'll get a lot busier. So this is us a little bit further down towards uh, central in San Miguel. This is the Institute Allende, it's an art gallery. And it's quite nice, as I say, it's got a nice open courtyard. And as we look further into the town, you can see uh, some jacarandas and the uh, famous parochia, the towns above the skyline. starting to get a little bit busier again. Found a jacaranda tree. Beautiful lilac, purple flowers. We certainly don't have those in the UK. We have the cherry blossom trees, which have pink blossoms. They only last a couple of weeks. And then the wind actually blows all the blossoms off. But these are absolutely beautiful. Jacaranda. Colourful mural that someone has on their rooftop. Patio. You just don't get such beautifully coloured buildings back in Scotland, that's for sure. This property looks kind of grand, almost looks like a castle fort there. There really is such a huge range of prices for properties here and homes um, for rent, homes that, that you can have your own B&B in. Um, we've even noticed some that are worth two to three million dollars, which is incredible. Um, so yes, yeah, there's definitely more, more tourists come here now than they used to do, and certainly a, a huge market for buying homes here. And it's not surprising because if you do look online about this area, it does say that this particular area is meant to be one of the most beautiful in Mexico. And because of the, the temperature of the weather throughout the year and so on, you know, it's considered a, almost like a, a kind of a eternal spring, eternal summer type climate so it is you can see why you know the, the consumerism now has rocketed and there's so many properties now for sale. Well saying that you can also buy very cheap properties. You can live very very cheaply here too. Um, so yeah it's quite a range really And as I mentioned before, you know, everywhere you go that there's construction work going on. Yeah, just a huge range, you know, for example, I think one of the cheapest places we stayed here so far was when we were up in the mountain village, Santa Rosa de Lima, in Guanajuato, and that was around about 20 UK pounds per night for the two of us, um, which is just really, really good, good value. So it's 20 to 4 and the cockerels are going cock a doo -doo. Now, I know they're supposed to do it at dawn, but I don't know why, in this area they do it like all through the day. <laughs> and even in the night, 
last night I heard them one in the morning, four in the morning. So I don't know why they do that. Maybe they're just so happy. All the nice weather, who knows? They're chasing mosquitoes. Oh gosh, the mosquitoes love us. So we saw this hotel online that has an inner courtyard, I think. <laughs> if it's the same place I'm thinking of. And so we thought that might be quite pretty. Probably expensive, but I guess even if you have a coffee, at least you've still been in the place and had a little visit. So we're going to go and check that out. So it's not serving coffees, coffees or drinks or food or anything anymore, but we're allowed in to have a look. So a couple of days ago we did film in the main square and of course you will have noticed the parochia. That is actually, that is the building there, so we're just behind it. I love those blue flowers. I've noticed them a few times around here. Don't know what they are, but they're gorgeous. <laughs> Excuse me zooming out so fast. So we found another restaurant that has a garden courtyard. Really beautiful. And it's right beside the parochia. In fact, I think that is the very top. Yeah, it is because it's got a cross. I don't know if you can see that on the very top of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the prices are very, very reasonable. Just Gosh, you would pay this type of price back home for a, a meal. In a double, probably. Sorry? Double. Yeah, you would pay double that back home. It's, it's lovely and there's a gentleman playing the piano. 